guys, welcome to the Blissful Finance and today we are going to have a quick uh, uh, explanation of the calculator that we have built. This is a completely new calculator and has a lots and lots of update, hence the new video uh, and uh, hence a uh, little miss that we didn't upload it uh, on Saturday. So uh, this is a mobile friendly website, right? You can just log into our calculator page and uh, it will be a mobile friendly website and you can just uh, calculate uh, quick things. So um, here we have similar details like what is your present age let's say my present age is 45 let's say annual expense is about 10 lakh rupees and let's say we have a retirement corpus of about 4 crore rupees okay so now uh, this is a very simplistic calculator like uh, we are not uh, so we are not having, having any complex things in this calculator so we have a Monte Carlo mean inputs like the last calculator we have seven inflation I have taken seven uh, equity mean I have taken 10 and debt mean I have taken six okay so again as you can see debt is not beating the inflation right it's just six uh, in terms of standard deviation I have taken two as inflation mm, I have uh, taken uh, standard deviation for equity returns as 15 right now and I have taken two for a uh, debt return standard deviation okay in terms of tax strategies I have taken 15 percent of uh, you can change this to 15 10 percent 20 percent zero whatever you want uh, equity tax i have taken 15 percent flat number of simulation let it be one i'll show you why it is one right now we can pick make it 50 thousand 60 thousand one lakh whatever you want and initial de debt uh, equity proportion i have taken 60 percent equity and 40 percent debt just write 60 here and it will be done so there are two simulation methods that we are using right now in this calculator one is a monte carlo simulation method other is historical India nifty data simulation method okay in Monte Carlo it's obviously the plain Monte Carlo that we use right of course with some adjustments in terms of mean and standard deviation okay in historical data we use from January 2000 to December 2023 the data that's available we use that and how do we use it we'll explain you shortly there are two ways to run the simulation one is a static SWR method wherein you are going to fix your equity and debt every time every year rebalance it uh, so that your major ratio is always maintained right other is the bucket which we uh, keep uh, using in our uh, calculator okay this is the example cash flow that we have uh, we can show you just wait a minute and I'll show that to you uh, a real rate of return analysis uh, for your reference is given here and there's a confidence graph that will appear here and of course the results will be out in this particular table and of course there is a new awesome retirement failure analysis uh, table which could show you that uh, why these things are failing if at all something is failing in the calculator why are they failing what are the black swan events that this particular simulation considers okay so let's plug in some numbers let's say our simulation is one and I'll try to explain that to you that why uh, we want one initially so that you can you can understand better. So I'm going to run the simulation for one simulation and if you see here what's happening this is a place wherein right this is a place wherein it shows you a uh, example uh, uh, cash flow statement okay. Now for an example cash flow statement right you get uh, this table which says that okay fine there's what is the equity corpus what's your debt corpus and all those things since we have put 60 40 you get 60 percent of the initial four crore corpus as uh, equity and 40 percent as uh, debt corpus and you know if you can see here fixed tax 50 points 15 percent long term gain tax 15 percent and inflation of course is modeled the way we were talking about right so let's see if uh, at and this particular uh, case wherein i have simulated it passes of, the uh, retirement okay let's see when it fails right let us let's see hopefully it fails and i can show you a couple of things uh, yeah so it has failed here and you can see this table which shows that uh, retirement failure it means is it says see, for example the this is only for uh, failure analysis that why your retirement failed for a 45 year old your retirement has to last at least for 43 years further right that is what we take as failure if any of the case has not lasted for 43 years right 45 plus 43 88 years we say that that is a failure and why it has failed is is what we get here okay in this particular table now you can check the explanation of this in this uh, i have given a brief explanation of each of these uh, points here to explain but you in explain short if you say negative years it means that how many of the uh, years you have got 
returns as negative. If you start counting here, let us see, right? Uh, negative here he is one, two, three, four, and uh, five and six, right? So there are six negative years in total for this one particular simulation, okay? Next um, is max, max draw drawdown is uh, indicating, if you can see here, it means that the maximum loss from peak to bottom during the failed simulation, that means the highest, it would have reached equity market as highest uh, to the lowest, what is that maximum uh, variation? And it's the minus 32.33%. So at this percentage, the equity is moving up and down, right? What is the mean? The mean of this simulation is 10.57. You have kept it 10. Uh, standard deviation is 13.56. Okay. So now again, it says all the worst three years. You can read a lot of things in terms of uh, uh, analysis we are doing on this and you can figure that out. Just have a look at, careful look at this particular uh, table here that what it shows and you can figure that out. Okay. So now let's simulate. And of course, this is a graph here that appears in terms of confidence. Let's simulate that now with uh, 50,000 cases. And then we will see. So I'm just putting number of simulation as 50,000. Okay. And just to remind and recap. So it's for a 45 year old, 10 lakhs annual expense, 4 crores corpus, 7 inflation, 10% equity returns, and 6% debt returns. And of course, corresponding standard deviations. Tax strategies 15% for fixed and 15% for long term capital gain flat. Okay. And then of course, equity proportion is 60%. I'm choosing a Monte Carlo simulation and let's go ahead and run this simulation for SWR, right? A static SWR simulation is what we are running right now and we will see the result shortly. Yeah, so it has run. And now let's see, it says that, you know, out of the, uh, out of 50,000 cases, 98.8% are normal. That means uh, their normal. Normal. test is uh, cleared in this particular uh, case. Okay. So if you see here, a minus 2% at RRR last 73 years for you. But what we're interested in is, is uh, at what point the four crores will last for a 45 year old. And that comes to be 73 years for a 90% confidence. And if you can check down here, it, it shows that, you know, the number of negative years for a bottom 10% failure quartile is 800. 800 times negative uh, returns were there out of 50,000 simulations. And of course, all the failures collectively had these many uh, negative years, right? All the failures had these many negative years uh, totally. So if you, if you just check this thing, it means 2,79,000 negative years. That only approximately mean that, right? Roughly, we have five to six negative years on an average, right? Of course, you may want to analyze it in a different way. So what's the max drawdown? Max drawdown is 60%. That means in one or two cases, this is average, of course, right? One or two cases, uh, it's huge amount of two cases less, but average max drawdown is about 53% from high to low, right? So okay. that's about the table. And if you can see here, this is uh, this confidence graph. You can just go ahead and check uh, your likings of confidence, for example, at 80% confidence, the corpus lasts for 77 this years. Is okay, confidence this is graph uh, that you can see here. The same thing appears uh, ditto uh, in mobile as well. If you go ahead with historical data, I'll just show you. For a normal uh, Monte Carlo, the amount lasts last 73 years, 90% confidence. If you go with historical data, and you again choose the SWR simulation, right? Let's wait for some time, things will change shortly. Okay, so it's done. If you see here, it shows the amount will last till 92 years. So Monte Carlo says the amount will last till 73 years and historical nifty data, which is used in a circular bootstrap fashion, right? Uh, last till 92 years. So the way this is about the calculator, right? Uh, it's a pretty neat uh, sleek calculator, which uh, you can now use on your mobile. My request is that please forward it to as much as possible, right? Let them also check uh, let them not be in a fear of whether retirement is possible or not. They can either way, if somebody is confident that uh, the retirement, uh, they have to pick a historical data, they can. If somebody is confident that they need to pick uh, a little bit more aggressive and realistic Monte Carlo, they can uh, wish to do the same, right? So this is what I want to bring to you today, a quick, a very, very quick video on updates of our retirement calculator. And I will see you in the next video shortly in two or three days explaining uh, how the back end of this calculator works. So till then, happy financial planning.